Have you ever seen the sun rising out of the horizon and wondered, how does the sun manage to do this day after day? Or how does the sun manage to set day after day? What's the mechanism behind this, right? Or have you ever looked at the night sky? And if you look at the night sky, you would notice that stars seem to move in the night sky. And why do they seem to move in a circular path, right? Have you ever wondered? this? Or how about this simple example of shadows? Why does the size of the shadow change? Why does it become larger and then smaller? What's the logic, right? Or how about the bones of our body? How are we able to bend our elbows, right? Why are we able to bend our elbows? And why are we not able to bend our bones at certain points? Right here, we've got a question of why and why not, or how does the mechanism of breathing work? How is this child able to breathe in and breathe out? Right, or even how do fish breathe underwater? These are questions I'm sure you've asked yourself at some point. What about plants? When you plant a seed under the ground, how does the seed know which way to grow out of? How does the shoot move upward and the root downward so perfectly all throughout every plant, right? How does this even happen? Valid question, isn't it? Where does the plant get the energy to grow out of the ground, right? So that's a valid question too. How about this liquid into which we dump a little bit of metal? Why would it start bubbling and spluttering? There's some kind of gas that's coming out. What gas is it, right? Or have a look at this. How does this frog manage to make such a sound and why does it do that? Let me show you another interesting thing. Here's a lake that's almost like a mirror, right? It's that silent. If a lake can be so silent, why does the ocean rage and roar and where do tides come from? Right? So there are a lot of whys and hows and why nots and you know, all of those questions that we have when we look into nature. And we've got literally countless questions when we look into nature. Science tries to provide the answers to those questions. Does it succeed everywhere in providing answers? Well, not yet, right? But it does give us answers to a ton of questions. And when you study science, that's what you're gonna do. You're gonna try to answer these whys and why nots and hows. And all of those questions that you've had for a long time, I'm sure this is gonna fascinate you. I'm really excited for you to get on the bandwagon and start learning science. Happy learning.